Uh, we uh, just didn't uh, stay together uh, defensively. We didn't really like follow some of the game plan techniques that we were working on, that we worked on for this game. So I feel like that's what led to the, the nine run at the end. We had some turno like unforced turnovers that got them like easy transition buckets. So it was really just that. weren't really able to get them in. Their their pressure bothered us and yeah, we just weren't really able to get them in. Uh, it just lets me know that I could, I'm able to make shots, and if I just continue to work out the way I'm working out, I'm able to make shots in the game. And with, even with the loss, I just go into the next game with the same confidence, same focus, and hopefully uh, my shooting and our team shooting, we all shot the ball well, so our team shooting will help us get that win on Saturday. Wait, can, can you repeat that? Yeah, I guess, what was the message from the coaching staff you know, during all those stoppages late in the game uh, as you guys were trying to you know, just fall in and, and draw fouls to steal the game? Uh, they were just telling us to stay strong with the ball. Uh, don't really like, don't really try to, or don't really turn the ball over. It's just get the ball in and make the foul us. That's really it. We just, we just really wanted to go out to get the win. We knew it was the last home game, not just Scott, maybe Scotty's last game, but our last game together with this group for, uh, at Memorial. So we just really wanted to get the win for that. It was blackout night. So just for, for the whole team, the whole program, we just wanted to get the win for that. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that's one of those plays where you got to create create, situate, uh, create separation. We talked to him about that before, you know, not just sitting there and trying to hold the guy off. I mean, it's tough to make that pass. Uh, we told him before we came out, the, uh, out of the timeout that we had another timeout. If it wasn't something sure, a sure pass that we, we could use it again and burn it. But just, just, just uh, you know, lack of poise uh, play. You know, we, we can't have those mistakes in those critical junctures in the game. Um, I thought we... Um, you know, just again, every way that we could possibly lose the game. I mean, just feel like we're living in a nightmare right now because I mean, that, that, that game felt like it should have been our, our, our game. We did enough. We had enough contributions to win the game. We just wasn't smart enough and didn't execute, you know, down the stretch. Even the, the long pass, I mean, that's a play that, you know, that Scotty has. If you catch it in stride, you go in and finish it. If not, you know, would you, it, it hung up a little bit. He bobbled a little bit. We need to just try to pull that out. They had to foul. We go to the free throw line and, 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 and force them to, to foul us. But, um, but now nah, it's just, man, we just I think we just got a, little, got a little hurried up, got a little rushed, and, and again, didn't play with the poise that, that we needed. But we did some really good things tonight. I mean, proud of our guys from that standpoint, bouncing back after a couple of tough losses to still come and bring the, the energy and the effort that they did. You know, but again, we got to do it for 40 minutes, not, not 38, 39. Um, but, Man, it's, this, it's a tough one. I mean, I feel for those, 
feel for my group right now, man. They they deserve this. They've been work. They work hard enough to, to to win a game like this. This was a big game. Had a lot riding on it. Chance for us to you know you know have a you know, opportunity to have a winning season, not just a 500 season, you know, which is still uh, an opportunity for us to do that in the regular season. But man, this is um, this this one this one hurts, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, Scotty's been, um, uh, he's been everything for us. I mean, I mean, he's been, uh, you know, obviously he's a high usage guy. Uh, he's uh, he gave us an opportunity to win tonight again. He, he, he kind of took over there for a while uh, from an offensive standpoint. Um, he was, you know, defensively did, you know, did, did some good things for us. But again, just, the, you know, the poise, the late game, uh, th those plays are, are critical. You know, we talked about it. Can't just hold up and post off. You got to create separation and get a lead. Uh, maybe they grabbed him a little bit there at the end, but that's one of those plays where it's, you know, the, the, you know, it's kind of the tie goes to the aggressor. The, the team is coming back. They're going to get the benefit of the doubt. So you got to make sure that you leave no doubt. Uh, make sure that we get open and, and we didn't do so, and make sure we make a good pass. Um, again. Uh, I initially had Miles taking the ball out. I changed it right at the last minute to have Jordan take it out, and um, just just didn't work out. So it's on all of us. I mean, again, probably we can go back and look at different things that maybe we could have, you know, could have ran, or could have called, or could have did this. But you know, we had opportunities to make plays, you know, down the stretch. We didn't make them, and they did. Hats off to, to Florida. They made all the plays that they needed to. In a, in a you know in a pivotal game that they needed as well, you know they stepped up and and, and seized the opportunity, and and did what they needed to do. Yeah, uh, Stag. Now three consecutive games now, just of some tough fought losses, like really hard fought games, but kind of losing it one point, two points, one possession, whatever in those last final seconds. Uh, do you feel like that gives your team a sense of hey, we're right there, we can do it, or? Uh, is there a sense of that too, where it's a little bit deflating as you kind of come down the stretch, like you said, kind of nightmare scenarios a lot of the time? Yeah, I mean, I think we've had enough of those during the course of the season where we thought that we, you know, hopefully that we would be at the point now that we would be on the other side of those, you know, and, and we've we put ourselves in a position to, to, to learn from those those same type of errors that we've made, you know, early in earlier games that cost us games and they're still um, hampering us now from, 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 you know, from putting you know, W's on, you know, in the win column. So it's, you know, again, it's, it's frustrating, it's disappointing, but, you know, at the same time, we, we, we can't stop. We know we still have, you know, another game left in the regular season, still have the postseason. We, we know that we can play with anybody. Um, just hopefully we can just stay together and, and, and keep our confidence up of the things that we are doing well, and, and hopefully we can, can, can be better in the late game situations um, in, in, in the near future. So, you know, you watch the games, man. I mean, you know what's going on. Um, like I said, it's, it's not, you, you never want to see different guys, different nights. Uh, again, you know, we had you know, some turnovers, some key turnovers tonight. I think you look at the, the turnovers, um, you know, Jordan had three. You know, I mean, I mean, Jordan, uh, Scotty had three, Jordan had five. Um, you know, a couple of, couple of key turnovers down the stretch. You know, I think we could have got some looks. We had some had some looks to really get some more separation. Still, with all that said, we had an opportunity to tie the game there at the end. So I mean, free throws hampering us again. So it's been turnovers and free throws. That's those those have kind of been been the theme. Um, and offensive rebounding. I, I thought we had some opportunities where we got some stops and then come up with the offensive rebounds. Put them on put them on the line, and they were able to to close the gap by that. So it's, I mean, it's a little bit of everything. It's, it's not just one thing that you can single out. We got, you know, obviously need to come up, get key stops, get rebounds, take care of the ball offensively, take care of the ball in late game, in game, you know, inbound situations. 
and um, again, and, and, and be smart. You know, we you know shouldn't have, shouldn't have sagged in off of uh, on, on Castleton. Man, he's we've been do, doing a good job of defending, and then we we sag in and give him a three, you know, big three to take the lead. So it's just again not smart plays. Guys are trying to make the right plays. They want to do something to help win the game, but a lot of times it's just being solid. You don't have to do anything to to anything extra. You know, just just stay within the scheme, stay within the game plan, and that's what we got to continue to to try to get better at and do, and, and, and just trust our trust our teammates to do their jobs, and and, and I think we're we're finding a way to to get on top.